Hello guys, today I want to show you one new feature released just this week in Laravel 8.12 which will help you to debug your eloquent queries. And this was submitted by a guy named Ilya Sakovich. So that's a proof that Laravel is not Taylor's framework or anything. There are a lot of contributors. And what it does, it adds explain method to query builder and eloquent. Let me show you an example. So I have a project created here locally with list of clients with some relationships. And the query is this. In controller, client has more than one project and has status of active. And client has projects, is has many, and statuses belongs to. And what if you think that query is too slow and you want to debug it? Of course, in reality, it would be a much more complex query that you want to debug, but that's a simple example to show you. So how would you debug that? Of course, the best way is to have Laravel debug bar installed, and then you see the list of queries and navigate to the specific query you want, and you see that query, and then you run that here in your SQL Pro, for example, or any SQL client like this, and you see the result and how much it took. But what you don't see actually, what was the MySQL or any database engine process, how to filter those. So debugging of SQL query usually consists of debugging all the foreign keys and all the indexes that were used. And that you cannot see here, and that you cannot see here in the debug bar. To see what indexes have been used, you need to add explain to SQL query, run that, and then you see the list of what keys and indexes have been used, how many rows have been filtered, and from here you can decide which indexes may be not used or may be used not efficiently. So the old classical process of debugging that query was you have debug bar, you copy that query, and you add explain here. Or if you don't have Laravel debug bar installed, it's even more complicated. So instead of get, you do to SQL, and you echo that. So instead of clients, let's just dd that to sql returns the actual query in the string so we refresh that page and we see that query and we should copy that from here to sql client based the problem here however is it doesn't replace the variable the parameters so here name should be replaced by active so this one manually and then you run the query itself and then you add explain again in the beginning and you run that again. So pretty long process, right? And it involves your SQL client. Now what this new thing does in Laravel 8.12 by Ilya, instead of to SQL, you can do explain. And you refresh the page and you have all the explanation lists here, the same result as it would be in your SQL client. You see that in Eloquent on the screen in Laravel project. So you don't need to have SQL client open or debug bar installed at all. And if you want to have more videos like this one on Laravel tips, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends to subscribe because I'm shooting videos almost daily now and see you guys in other videos.